Hey there YouTube, Jack Allaire here. Uh, just uh, going to do a quick pickups video. I uh, picked up some really interesting things over the last little bit. Decided to share them with you. Uh, uh, let's get started. Uh, the first thing I picked up is this Pac-Man for the Dreamcast. Uh, I was walking in half price books and it was two dollars so I had to grab that. Now two other things I got at half price books one of which is Halo 2, the original soundtrack. It was on clearance for two bucks. So pick that up. Also, found Darksiders. Five bucks for the PC version. So now I'm finally going to get to play this. I was always told it also comes with the free soundtrack and digital comic, blah, blah, blah. But I was told that the demo did this game a lot of disservice. So I'm going to give it a shout, give it a try see how it goes from there. Um, I found a new place to stop by. Picked up two things from there. Uh, one is a Grind Session for the PlayStation. It's a skateboarding game. Gonna give it a shot later on. Also picked up uh, in a red box case, which I was kind of cool just to have the red box case, but uh, Transformers the game for the Wii. Needed another Wii game. Um, <clears throat> picked up two controllers. Uh, one is the NES Max for the Nintendo. If you remember this, this was uh, targeted toward playing the ice hockey game. Uh, I've torn it apart and cleaned it up. Works pretty good. The the weird thing is that this is it's just a directional pad with a little disc that slides in the middle. That's really all it is. And I picked up another uh, six-button Genesis controller. This is one of mine. Uh, just, uh, I don't know. It wasn't working quite right. I got the controllers from Trader's Village. I uh, also picked up an RF modulator, which that's just fun to say. Uh, but this way I can record me playing anything that just has an RF adapter, like the Ataris. Uh, also, while out there, picked up Fighting Force 64. Now, the reason that I uh, picked this up is one, it looked like an actual fun game, and it's got the property of Blockbuster sticker on it, which normally I would be offended, but since Blockbusters are becoming kind of an endangered species, thought it would be cool to have the stickers on it. Plus, like I said, looks like a really fun game. Uh, also, picked up two. Xbox games while I was out there. Uh, Star Wars, Obi-Wan. Uh, my son and I are fans of Star Wars. Fun games to play. And I also picked up Title Legends. Now the case is a little cracked, but it's got uh, a bunch of different games on it. I'll get a close-up of that later. The greatest thing that I picked up at Trader's Village, you know what, I'll save that for last. Uh, quick tease there. I also ordered on Amazon a Dreamcast memory card, still in the box, brand new, uh, the, the visual memory unit. And so I have another one of those, got the blue one. And when I went to the place that I normally go to, I took quite a few things there as well. For the PlayStation 2, and these were all just loose CDs that uh, looked a little scratched, but I think I can clean them up no problem. Uh, Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War for the PS2. Try not to blind you guys. Medal of Honor for the PlayStation 1. Or the PlayStation, since it wasn't really a PlayStation 1. Uh, Final Fantasy X. So I'm another way. These were 65 cents, by the way. That's why I snapped them all up. And Need for Speed Carbon. Now I love the Need for Speed games, so I decided to snag that as well. I uh, picked up a copy of Road Rash. Because I have Road Rash 3. I don't believe I had Road Rash. And looking at my collection, no I didn't. So I've got Road Rash now. Add that to the collection. And also a box copy. It doesn't have the manual. But Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. Let's see, it's just got the game. And the coolest thing I found there was this little beauty. Now, this is the Dreamcast mouse. And 
now I've got the mouse and the keyboard, and I'm coming closer and closer to rationalizing by picking up a broadband adapter. But, the coolest thing that I found is this. This is a Mario Kart phone, as you can tell. Phone, hello, hello. The funny thing is, is that this has uh, some of the weirdest features that I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's got the buttons on around. It's got pulse or tone, in case you still need a rotary phone. Uh, it's got the redial and the flash. And I plugged it in, tested it out, it works really good. The only thing I'm remotely sad about with this is that the ringtone when it rings, it just does the beep 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 It doesn't do anything cool Mario-like or anything like that, so kind of sad there. But no, it's a pretty cool... That's all I have time for right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install Darksiders and play that for the rest of the weekend. We're having a long day weekend here uh, in the U.S. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching and play on!